This is Raquel Figla here with David Ellison at the Metal Legion show down in downtown LA at the Velasco Theater. David, you have so much stuff going on, not only the Megadeth cruise, but tell me about tonight. So tonight's the Metal Legion's tour. It's a four-day tour that we're doing. Actually, really, it's a whole year. It's our, it's our fifth anniversary. Yeah. And so we're doing four shows this week. Phoenix, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and then San Francisco. And the show Saturday in San Francisco is also uh, being sponsored by and tied in with the new uh, thrash metal, Bay Area thrash metal documentary called Murder in the Front Row. That's been around for a while. Right, right. And it, it, it's from the book, basically, which, of course, all comes from the Exodus song, Bonded by Blood. Yeah. Murder in the Front Row. That's all- it's, so that's what it is. It's I mean, the Metallica guys are in it. Me and Dave are in it. Um, and it's all just the story of the Bay Area thrashing. So that's it. All right. So your fifth anniversary. When um, when you first started, um, tell me about this new album. You have, this is your second one. Yeah. So this, uh, I got a new book coming out called More Life with Death. It's yes. coming out uh, July 16th. And I have a solo album that I'm putting out. It has a few new songs that I wrote uh, with some collaborations from uh, Daryl from uh, Run DMC. He's DMC. Huh? And uh, Mark Tremonti. And um, um, and let me see who else is on it. Ugh, you caught me off guard here. So, but but I tell you what, it is. I also have some demos from my band F Five that I had from yeah. back back in the in the earlier two thousands. Uh, some some great demos that I've always wanted to put out. So this is the perfect time to do it, as well as some songs that I wrote back in the early 90s, um, 1993, when I wrote a bunch of stuff. I have like David Glenn Isley from House of Lords sang on some stuff. John right. Bush sang on one of the tracks. What so, about good. All To Do Is An Attitude? Oh, it's yes, me and Frankie. Thing. Um, our album just came out, uh, Get It Out. We put that out in uh, January, and we went to Europe. Slash was kind enough to take us over there to launch our uh, band and our new album over there in Europe. So we did that. Then we just did a big uh, tour across the Midwest bunch of radio and a bunch of stuff that we did there and yeah so now we're frank i'm kind of busy doing this now frank's getting into anthrax world writing but now that you know now that altitudes and attitude is up and running now it's now it's up so we can go visit anytime we want now so now after death what's the next book title called and when's it going to come out it'll be my life after death when i retire <laughs> Wait, isn't it in the works because no the new but no the book now yeah it's called more life with death yes yes yeah. and yeah. what will that comprised of what will that have it'll in have it? what has the stuff it's a story of of how combat records and emp label group came together ellison coffee ties back uh, because of combat ties way back into the earliest days of megadeth because mm-hmm. of the combat tie-in um and some great uh collaborations uh from some, a lot of friends of mine uh, greg hannabit who was my childhood friend who moved to la was uh, a founding member of megadeth yeah um jay Reynolds, who was in Malice, would played with me and Dave briefly um, before we recorded So Far So Good So What. Brian Slagle, owner of Metal Blade, a bunch, a lot of cool people in there. They gave some really great. K.K. Downing from Judas Priest, Dan Donigan from Disturbed. Yeah, some cool people gave some awesome stories in there. Elves and Coffee, like yes. they were like little yeah, yeah, yeah. chewable candy. Are you going <coughs> to read you those? We, we had those, yeah, you know, and they were fun. They were really cool. Um, so we'll, all, you know, it's funny, we got into doing a lot of artist signature roasts. For uh, Michael from Queensryche, autographs, Skid Row. Um, yeah. We now have the CBD coffee, uh, oh, which I is didn't know that. yeah, which is very cool. Yeah, we uh, it's it's difficult to do, and we found a company who knows how to do it, so they become our roaster for the CBD coffee, and that's starting to be quite popular right now. So. Great.